and you know who who the the person in charge of the of these uh his little private military or private um you wouldn't call it a private military it, it, their their uh, private security company hmm. was a guy that was a retired secret service agent he's all over his name's uh, Kevin Billings if you punch in Kevin Billings he's all over he's he right now he runs a security company he's a security consultant um Another guy named Joe Robinson, who used to work for Buddy. So Dyer. wait, who, this billing, this Billings guy, what's his name? Kevin Billings. Kevin Billings. He also he ran he ran he ran security company. security company, okay. companies. Yeah. So these guys are running the company. He's also one of the guys that gets ki- that gets arrested in the Congo. Remember, he, remember the guys. Eventually, what happens is Amadeo start. He decides. Look, he's got enough. He starts withhold. Here's what happens. In order to in order to fund this insane plan for world domination, he's trying to buy planes and do all these things. Like I said, the planes are like $60 million, right? So $60 million purchase. So he's looking at planes. He's, he's negotiating with the Cypriots to keep the planes there. He's already got Russians. You can't buy an F-14 or an F-15 um, fully armed. They, they basically they call them declawing it. They strip all the guts out of it, right? Mm-hmm. So you can't buy it with missiles or even the missile equipment. But if you fly it Declaw over— Declaw the bird. But if you fly it over to uh, Cyprus— They can rebuild it. The shit, Russians right? will come in Holy or Ukrainians shit. will come in, and they'll re-put everything back in for you. Now I Fuck got fully yeah. functional shit. Yeah. So that's what he's trying to do, and he's negotiating with the, Cy- uh, with the uh, Cypriots. But he needs money. You can't just take over the world. Not that I think it's—I know it's, it's insane. Not that I think it's true that you could do it. But he thinks you can do it. Even the CIA guy was like, you can't take over the world. It would take generations to be able to pull it off. He's like, but he goes, I mean, he, the CIA guy said, I've never seen someone as capable and functioning, uh, high functioning as Amadeo that believed it was possible. So what happens is he's trying to buy the planes. He's trying to do all these things. He's negotiating, but you need money to do that, right? He's got a ton of companies, but one of the ways he, he figures out, how do I, I get the money to buy all the, to do all this stuff? Well, here's what happens is you understand payroll. Let's say your paycheck is going to be $1,000 this week. Okay. So the company is going to send, you're going to get $1,000. Mm-hmm. They're going to withhold $200, right, for the IRS. Mm-hmm. So who who sends that money to the There's IRS? 1000 and probably more like 500 Okay, let's say, let's say it's 300 <laughs> So you're supposed to get... So that means the company keeps three hundred bucks, right? Right. They keep three hundred from me, three hundred from you, three hundred. All he's got forty thousand employees paying three hundred bucks. It's supposed to go to the IRS. What does he do? He stops sending it to the IRS. No. Mm-hmm. And that's why it slowly grows and grows until it's almost two hundred million dollars. And he's using the money to back, to buy planes, to buy all kinds of stuff. Wow. He's doing just good stuff, right? And here's the Hell thing. Yeah. Capable. Here, Here's how you how you do that, by the way, which is legal. I have a company. All I have to do is report to the IRS. Hey, IRS, we owe you one hundred and twenty thousand dollars this week. We have the money, but we're not sending it to you right now. We're holding it because we're having we're we're considering going into bankruptcy, or we're going into bankruptcy, and you're just a debtor. So I can't. I'm, I'm holding the money. We don't have the money to send you, but we do owe it to you. Just like if you're of any vendor that I owe money. I, we right. bought a bunch of equipment. We're making payments to you. Guess what? We can't make the payment this month, but we know we owe it to you. Yeah. And you may be included in our bankruptcy. Right. Okay. You can't come get your shit. Right. The IRS can't do anything. They go, right. okay, well, just keep keep us posted. Yeah. And so he negotiates with them. Eventually, a, m- a lot of the companies, he might owe a million, two million dollars. He goes into the IRS under the bankruptcy and says, look. We're either going to bankrupt it, and you're going to get virtually nothing, or let us get on a payment plan, accept less than the million or two million we owe you, accept three hundred thousand, and we'll pay you off over the next year. And they go, All right. I mean, is it that or nothing? Right. So they take it. So he's doing this actively, doing this for years to the tune of two hundred million. He eventually ends up. He eventually ends up buying. I'm sorry, backing a political candidate to run for president of the Congo, the, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Why? Well, because the Congo has is a lo- is has the largest um I don't want to say surplus, but it, it has the largest depository of minerals in the world. Zinc, um everything. It's got all all you know, zinc, um what is the other one? uh uh um God, there's some other. What's the, what's the thing in, in uncut gems? 
Oh, I forget what he has. Oh, I mean, so you've got, I mean, you've got diamonds, you got diamonds, gold, yeah. you got silver, you got, you've got Iron, platinum, probably. but it's also got, you know, there's, there's a, a metal that's in cell phones that's huge. It, it and titanium. I forget. Titanium. Okay, titanium, whatever it is. Well, I don't know what, what it Scrap is. But cell phones. <laughs> the point know. is, they've got tons so they of put it. My neck. <laughs> Here, here's the issue: is that because there's these warring factions, nobody can go in and get to it. They're, they've been at war for 40, 50 years. Right. Nobody can go in. So you're either going to go in and wipe out the entire population and then just take it, which nobody's going to let you do, or you hope that eventually the government gets a stable government that's not corrupt. So he backs a political candidate mm. that's actually really almost an American. Okay. It, it's a Congolese that came here, was educated here, became a doctor, and then goes back there, and he goes in – and he says, look, I'm going to run your campaign. I'll fund your campaign. I'm going to provide security for your campaign. But once you're president, you have to adopt capital genesis, which is my idea of how we're going to, we're going to structure the entire economy. And he knows that very quickly the economy will you know, it'll, it'll stabilize, and then he'll be able to go into other countries. He also plans on building the largest military in history. He's already got. He's already negotiating. He at this point he was negotiating with the um, the World Bank. No, not the World Bank. With the uh, is the so what was his plan Bank to, the, to do this with with every country in the world? Well, his plan was to go into Africa, and then spread into you know whatever Nigeria and all right, these neighboring. Right. Eventually, he ends, up with Africa. he ends up with Africa. He ends up with the whole country. Mm. So he you've got up. a continent. Now we're a continent. Now we're moving. Where right. he's got the president of every country in his mm. pocket. No, it may not even be the president. He may just come in. The fact is, once he goes into the Congo, he's he's got a security force. He's going to start training these guys and build his own private military. And just take over the rest of the country. And just take over. Right. Well, why wouldn't I just not the, that? Yeah, the, the whole continent, not the country. He's got that's the country. I meant the continent. The whole continent. I meant what I meant, the continent, yeah. It's not hard to take over one of these companies. There's a guy named uh, Simon Mann who actually, there were actually... Uh, he, Simon Mann brought, had a, a small security company that came in and actually, I think it was Sierra Leone, there was a, a rebel uprising or something where they basically were had pulled off like a coup and they had, forget exactly, but basically they had taken over the country. Mm-hmm. And he came in and with his hundred and some odd guys takes the whole country back. Like they had taken the oil fields and everything. He comes in and takes, there's a whole documentary on it. Yeah. That's what they thought. Amadeo was. They thought he was a Simon man. That was an mm. issue for them because it was like a year earlier that had happened when he goes into Congo. So what happens is while his guys are in the Congo running this guy's campaign, that by the way, the guy's name is a uh, was it was it a uh, I forget his name. Damn it. Anyway, so his candidate goes from number like thirty down to number three. Hmm. The other candidates that are running are the current president and an, the the second person in the polls was a general by the name of Bimba. And uh, Bimba is a general. So imagine if, oh, sorry. Imagine if George, if, uh, if Schwarzkopf was, was general of the, of the military and also running for president. Do you see what I mean? Like, yeah. you can't do that. What are you doing? That's how it is there. Mm. So this guy has got his own army. And the armies aren't all like together. Like, you've got an army. You've got an, like, you guys are all under me. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we're under you. You know, you keep sending us money and feeding us and everything. We're going to stay here and we're going to, you know, it's not, it's not exactly like you're saying, go over there. And they're like, well, why would we go over there? Why would we invade them? I mean, it's a discussion. This is a, this isn't, this isn't like it is in the United States. Right. So he was running for president. They realized that this candidate is coming down in the polls and he may end up winning the presidency. So Bemba ends up grabbing thir- all 32 of Amadeo's security staff and they grab them and arrest them and they bring them to a military base and they hold them for nine days while Amadeo negotiates and the State Department negotiate to have them released. And it's a whole thing. The CIA is involved. Um, it's, it's, it's a whole, it's a, actually there's a documentary. Yeah, Nine Days there, in the Congo. Nine Days in the Congo. It's on my channel. Go to my channel, Inside True Crime, Matt Cox and Inside True Crime, and you can watch Nine Days in the Congo. Yeah, go it's do great. It. It, is, it, it is. It is. It's great, and you can see Amadeo. There's interviews with Amadeo. He's great. He's like five foot four. He looks like the little Caesar guy. He's is, amazing. Is he, ta- is he taller than you? No, I think I, I think I'm about an inch taller than him. I, got him on maybe an inch. An in, maybe two inches. <laughs> is that what with, a, with a good pair so of well? shoes? With a good pair of shoes, for sure, I'm taller. <laughs>